Ray Kroc, the founder of McDonald's, but not the real founder, showed how you can actually be successful by copying an idea and being extremely ruthless in your business. Now, do you think that ruthlessness is a major trait to be successful in business? If you want to know more uh, about that, watch this video because I'm going to explain the success principles of Ray Kroc of McDonald's. Hey, my name is Armin Rao. I've been an entrepreneur and coach and leader for 20 years and I'm helping entrepreneurs to become better leaders. If you don't want to miss any of my videos, just subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red button below. This video is actually about Ray Kroc from McDonald's. Now here is the Ray Kroc success principle number one. Don't shy away from stealing. I don't know if you've seen the movie The Founder where the whole story of Ray Kroc is being uh, recapped uh, with a fantastic actor, I forgot the name now, Michael Keaton. Unbelievable, unbelievable. If you haven't watched it, watch it. And you know, uh, it, it shows the story of uh, Ray Kroc, who is a, an elderly, well, elderly, 50-ish, uh, uh, milkshaker salesman, and he gets to know the McDonald's brothers, who have actually invented that whole system of an operationally excellent uh, process to produce hamburgers. So he becomes their salesman, and later on, um, well, uh, takes away the whole thing from them in a very ruthless manner and um, yeah, he's, he basically steals it and even calls himself later on the founder of McDonald's, which is not literally true, uh, but that is certainly one of his first uh, success secret. He did not shy away from just stealing the idea. Success secret number one of Mr. Kroc, which is not quite as bad as the first one, is to be open to new business models. That is quite interesting because the first approach that he chose to build the McDonald's empire was a franchising model. It still is a franchising model, but he let the owners of the businesses buy the land and then pay franchising fees to McDonald's or to him. He changed that business model into one where he bought the land, built the shops, or built the, 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 the restaurants, and then made a long-term lease contract with the franchisees. And that, first of all, that guaranteed him long-term revenue. He could fire the franchise, franchisees or end the lease contract if they did not perform according to the McDonald's standards. So he had really recurring and planable revenues which then again allowed him to reinvest that money and to plan for reinvestments up front. Really really good uh, to have that kind of business model which allows you to have recurring and secured revenues. So success. Secret of Mr. Kroc number two, be open to new business models. Success. Secret number three of Ray Kroc was he <clears throat> don't be afraid to, in quotes, kill your enemies in business. So, Kroc was not at all, he was so determined, he was not at all afraid of, in quotes, killing or abandoning or neutralizing enemies uh, to his success. He, in quotes again, killed the McDonald's, he left his first wife who did not support him, um, he uh, left business partners just because they uh, got in his way. Now, if we want to put, turn this into something positive, be very determined and do everything for your success. I personally would not share the value system of Mr. Kroc, to be quite honest, but on the other hand, what we can learn from such a behavior is that great leaders, they are very determined, they know exactly how to manage their their environment, let's put it like that in a positive way, and in addition, um, they are not, they are not, how can I say, their ego is not so big that they think they must invent everything. So even Steve Jobs didn't shy away from, you know, copying other people's idea. The mouse is not his idea, uh, the touch screen is not really Apple's idea, and they made real big success of that. So these are principles that you can also apply as an entrepreneur, as a leader. The Life Program actually teaches you all these techniques of great leadership within weeks. So if you want to learn this in my videos, Please stay tuned, click on the button below, 
share the video and don't forget, lead yourself.